Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick one. Right now I'm in my init and workflow and I have a base setup here. So it's pretty simple. Uh, we have a trigger node for new emails, right? For new incoming emails. Then I have an edit fields node. I'm just capturing some of the data like thread ID, the text message, the subject, the email so that I can know who to send it to later, right? And the most important thing is message ID, which is down here. And this message ID is super important because this will allow us to create a draft email that will actually be a reply inside of a thread, right? Then I have another basic LLM chain node, which is basically a GPT for creating some response as part of this demo process. And now let's get to the good stuff. Now, once we have a response ready, which is from the GPT node, what I saw a lot of people do is use the out of the box Gmail tool and they would, you know, create a draft. And then to kind of add that draft to be part of the thread, they would add the thread ID into the options section, right? They would just add the thread ID over here and they will create the draft this way. Now, this looks like it's working. However, once you actually send the draft using this node, the receiver will actually not see it as a reply, but instead the receiver will see it as a normal separate email. And that's not what we want, all right? So N8N, unfortunately, right now doesn't support creating drafts as a reply. So we have to use our own solution. And for that, we're gonna use the Google's custom APIs. All right, let's break this down. So the first thing, once we have the response from GPT, we want to first convert this text-based response into HTML. So to do that, I'm gonna use markdown node. I wanna convert it to HTML. The markdown is this text, and then we can call it HTML response, let's say. All right, I'm gonna test this step. And as you can see, it just converted the text-based response into the HTML one, all right? Now, once we have the response ready in HTML, what we want to do now, we want to build an email from scratch, all right? I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I just try to follow along. I'm gonna create another edits field node. Let's call it build raw email. It will make sense in a minute, just bear with me. I'm gonna call it raw. And then here, what you wanna do is I have prepared this template. And essentially what we are doing is we are building the email from scratch and we'll use this in the custom API later on, all right? So I have this set up. Let's use expression. And let's map all the fields. So two is gonna be the email that we want to reply to. The subject will be the same subject from the email that we received. And in reply to and references is the message ID, right? Then this tells Google email service that we want to reply to this message. Right, and it will use the in reply to and as well as reference to make sure that the draft email will be sent as a reply in the thread. So the in reply to just map it to the message ID as well as the references. And then what you're gonna do is down here, you're gonna uh, include that HTML response, right? And this is basically the raw email. All right, cool, let's run that. Okay, we have the raw email ready. And now what we wanna do is we want to convert the raw email now into the base64 format. You don't have to understand this technical jargon. Let's use the code node because we wanna convert it to base64. And for the code, I'm just gonna copy it, paste real quick, use this one. I've got encoded buffer from JSON raw, which is this is what we have. And we want to encode it in the base64 format and then we just return it. All right, so let's run this. So here's the encoded raw email. And once we have everything ready, right, maybe just, I can rename this step, convert to base 64, rename, perfect. And then what we wanna do, we will use the custom APIs to create this draft. So I'm gonna use the HTTP request node. And then for the method, let's go post because we are creating something new. For the URL, let me copy paste it from the documentation and then Go pretty fine credential type and here we'll select gmail authentication which will be basically reusing the stored n8n's credentials so go select your credentials over here we're going to send a body using a json and let's use json right we want to define our own type and here we want to change it to expression right now as you can see this is kind of bugging right it's kind of a buggy right now that uh, will not allow you to select expression 
but to kind of solve that just drag some of the schema fields into this field into this json field and it will switch it to expression all right and then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna copy the template that i have prepared essentially it's super simple json is basically a message and uh, we have two other fields we have raw and we have thread id so the raw we have prepared the raw is this encoded base64 email that we just prepared and then for the thread id we can just go back into the edit fields node where we captured the data and then we can just drag in the thread id as well now once we have that i can just create it All right there's the step everything went perfectly check my inbox this was my latest email, all right? If I refresh this, I should see a draft, perfect. So now as you can see for this test email, you know, from my other account, I created successfully a draft as a reply. Now it's important to test this, all right? So I'm going to send this message and here on my other account, let me just pull it up. Let's see if we can get it. So if I refresh this, yep, as you can see, I got a new message from myself as a reply to the original question and it's part of the thread. It's the most important thing is that even the receiver can see it as part of the thread. You cannot achieve this if you use the out of the box Gmail node in it n You have to actually use, you know, this kind of four step sequence so that you can create drafts that are actually working using custom APIs. So that's it. Hope you guys learned something new. Hope you guys got some value from this and I'll see you in the next one.